In the year 711, the Muslim Moors swept in from Africa and conquered the Iberian Peninsula. They ruled Spain for five centuries, inspiring a Europe-wide crusade among Christians to reconquer this land. Muslim rule stretched as far as France, but bit by bit, the Moors were pushed back, expelled from Seville in 1248, and finally pushed entirely out of Western Europe by 1492. The Moors left a distinct mark on Andalusian culture. While in Seville, they ruled from here, the Alcazar. More than six centuries later, this magnificent building still functions as a royal palace. The Alcazar provides a thought-provoking glimpse of a graceful Moorish world that might have survived its Christian conquerors, but didn't. What you see today is a 14th century rebuild done in Mudahar style. This was a Moorish style done by Moorish craftsmen, but for Christian rulers after the reconquest. This became the king's palace. Its centerpiece was the elegantly proportioned Court of the Maidens. It was decorated Mudahar below and Renaissance above. The king hired Muslim workers to give Moorish elegance to what was a stark fortress. They built what's considered the finest Mudahar building in all of Spain. The intimate doll's court was the king's living quarters. Imagine the royal family lounging around a reflecting pool in this courtyard. The stylized Arabic script, a standard feature of mosques, created a visual chant of Quranic verses. But the decor is clearly Christian. You'll see animals, buildings, and kings that you wouldn't find in religious Muslim ornamentation, which forbids images. A century or so later, just after Columbus's New World discoveries, Queen Isabel built a more European-style wing to the palace. Anticipating a big business in plunder and trade, she built this to administer Spain's New World ventures. The chapel is dedicated to Santa Maria de los Buenos Aires. Saint Mary of the Good Winds was the patron saint of navigators and a favorite of Columbus. This altar painting dates from shortly after Columbus died and features what's considered the first and most accurate portrait of the great explorer on the left. It's also thought to be the first painting of Indians done in Europe. The Virgin's cape seems to protect everyone under it, even the Indians. Like the palace, the gardens reflect a mix of cultures. The intimate geometric Moorish gardens lead to the later, much more expansive backyard of Spanish kings. The gardens are full of tropical flowers, cool fountains, and, in the summer, hot tourists. I'm thankful we're here in late April, beating the brutal heat of the Andalusian summer.